Welcome back to another video of Math Times Cool. In this video, I will be going over expansions of polynomial products. So, beginning. So, we know that uh, a, sorry, a to the n power times a to the n power is equal to a to the m plus n, right? So, whenever we, whenever we have Uh, whenever we have um, a any number to the m power, and then we have that same number to the n power, the total the result is just a to the m plus n. So both the exponents added together, and then a to the m power to the n power is a to the m n power. So m times n. Now a b, so the m power is a to the m and b to the m. As you can see, a is just a to the first and b is uh, b to the first, and so one times m is m, and so it'll be a m to the b m. So let's do a few problems. So let's say a th a to the third to the fourth power. That would be a to the twelfth. Right. Uh, let's say, I don't know, negative 2a squared bc to the third. Let's cube that. So negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. This would be 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. So we have the constant. And then a, a to the 2 times 3, so a to the 6 b to the third, and c to the nine. Um, yep. So let, let's, let's do a few more. Okay. Let's go over exponent, uh, exponential um, functions when we divide. So a to the seven divided by a to the fifth. So when we have anything like this, we can just do this. You know, you can just imagine it as like that, right? And then you can see that that's a to the second. We know that because seven. Uh, we can easily determine that by just looking at um, the exponent. So seven minus five is equal to two. And so we know that it is a to the second. So for example, let's say a to the four to the third power divided by uh, a to the third to the fourth power. So these are both just a to the 12, right? Because um, 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 times 4 is also 12. Divide it, when you divide anything by the same thing, the answer is always 1. Um, let's, let's do a few more problems. Okay, so let's say you have 3xy times 2y to the z plus 4xz, right? So again, you just distribute this 3xy to these values, so it'd be 3 times 2 is 6. And there's no other x, so that would just be x. There is another y, and y1 times y1. You can just add up the y's, they get y2. So that would be y squared. Oops. And then you just have the z lying around. Now again, for this, 4 times 3 is 12. There are two x's, and that's x squared. There's no y and no z. So, yep. Let's do, let's do this problem. So, negative 2abc times ab plus bc plus ca. Yeah. So, negative 2 times 1 is a negative 2 a times a is a squared, then 2b, so b squared, and then just the lonely c. Minus, because two, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So negative uh, minus 2. There's no a in this. There's a b and a c, though. And then the same thing with this minus 2, because, again, two times ne one, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So minus 2. 
uh, there are two A's, one B, and two C's. And so this would be your final result. Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, let's see. So let's say you had A plus B to the A minus B. So if you were to, again, distribute each value, right, you get A squared, A squared minus AB, and it would be plus AB, and then the minus B squared. You can see that, right, if you were to distribute it. And you can see here that these two cancel out, and so you get A squared minus B squared. So um, once, whenever you have something like this, so whenever you have two of the same values, just the sign is flipped, then you can just um, have a squared minus b squared. Or, you know, you can just distribute it if you can't remember. But, you know, it would be faster to just do this. So, again, so let's do, like, let's do negative x. Actually, let's do minus x minus 2 squared. And since both of these are negative, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I mean that is, is it equals the same as this squared. But you know, let's let's do it like this. So um, negative x squared is x squared. So and then and then when you have anything squared, you do negative two times the a the a the, this would this would be a and this would be b a b. So that would be negative. Uh, Oh, sorry, negative 2AB, so, uh, so that'll be plus 4X, right? Uh, because negative X, yeah. Um, so now that I think about this, oh, I'm sorry, not negative 2X, it's positive 2, sorry, 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 so yeah, it's, it's, 2ab plus 2ab so yeah negative 1 times negative x times negative 2 is 2 then 2x and then times 2 is 4x and then 2 squared which is 4 uh let's do let's 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 keep going so let's say you had um x minus one half times x plus a third so again, you distribute, so there'll be x squared. So you can see that there are no um, same, even though that the a's are different, the b's are different. So you can't use the a squared minus b squared. You can't do it like that. And so you can just distribute it. So plus, plus, whoops. Uh, why isn't mine? Sorry about this. My marker is not, why isn't this working? Whoops. Uh, right here. What the? Okay, so anyway, I'll just have to explain it here. So uh, it would be um, one third times x, which is, okay, now it's working. Plus one third x, and then minus one half x, minus a sixth. So x squared. And then if you do this, you get two over six minus three over six, which is one over six, negative one over six, minus one over six. And this this would be your answer. Okay, now um, let's move on. Let's say you had a plus b plus c, and you just square that, right? What would the easiest w um, way, you, uh, easiest way you could, you could solve this problem? So I, I um, personally like doing it this way. So a plus b, right? I like setting that as a value. So let's set it, let's set it as x, right? So we set it as x plus c squared, right? And then so we get x squared is equal to uh, plus, sorry, plus 2xc plus c squared, right? So this this is um what it would be like. So we, now we can just substitute in x in for a plus b. So a plus b squared, and then it's plus, oops, sorry about this, my... My marker isn't 
Our marker's been acting a bit weird. Okay. So, anyway, I was saying... You can just substitute in, um... Uh, the value in for... Oh my gosh, sorry. Okay, so you can substitute in, um... Uh, accent for a plus b because that's what we set it to right and so that would be um it was a plus b squared so let's do this first a plus b squared so that's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared right and we had uh plus 2ca i believe yes plus 2c oh times a plus b sorry so 2ac plus 2bc and then plus c squared at the end. And then so if you were to add up all the like terms, that would be a squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to 2ab uh, 2, I'm sorry, plus 2ab, yeah, okay. 2ab, 2ac, and, two, and 2bc. Yeah, I just forgot to write the b right here. Okay. So, so yeah, let's, let's let's move on. So, um, like I said before, a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared, right? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, let's say we had um. Let's say we had a plus b plus c, right? And we had this multiplied by a plus b minus c, right? Minus c. How would we get the answer? So again, we can see that, oh shoot, that they share a common value, right? So again, let's substitute a plus b in for x. So x plus c uh, is, is multiplied by x minus c. And as you can see here, we have the same values, right? Just a different sign. So that would be x squared minus c squared. And luckily, we know that x squared is a plus b squared. So we can just say that a plus b squared minus c squared is equal to that. So that's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus c squared. Yep. So these are, you know, the, method I, the methods I use are, you know, very easy. I, I would say very easy. So um, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.